Hi again, I'd like to talk a little more about auto layout in Xcode. And in the last video, I talked about using equal width to create um, a situation where two boxes would sit side by side and adjust their widths to uh, fill the container. So you can see here that the two boxes sit side by side and they have an equal width and a fixed spacing between them. And when I rotate the view, um, you can see the boxes stretch to maintain that spacing. Um, and then they always kind of, you know, stick themselves to the edges there. Okay. So, uh, you know, in this case, I still haven't taken care of the button at the bottom here. So let's take care of that. So in the last couple examples, you know, I talked about sticking elements to the edges or fixing the, the trailing and leading and top and bottom edges, right? And I'll just use that here. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll, I'll click on the button, go to the pin menu, and I'll pin the left, right, and bottom edges, okay? And this guy will have to also have a, a, um, a height or some way to, so auto layout will know how tall it's gonna be. So for right now, I'll just check the height button there. And now it'll have a fixed height and auto layout is happy now it knows where to position this, okay? So I've, you know, in other words, I've included enough information in the layout, you know, constraints that auto layout can set the X, Y, width and height of this box. And now you can see in the view here, the, you know, the left, right, and bottom edges stick to the container. And when I rotate the container, you know, it still sticks to the edges and stretches to fill. And so that works pretty good because these two boxes are, are not tall enough where in landscape mode that they'll overlap the button. Okay. So, um, you know, in the last example, like I, I set these to an equal width and I gave them a fixed height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the views here and they have a, a constraint in here called a height constraint. It says height there. And I can see the, the, the blue bar is kind of this vertical one there. It must be the height. So I'm going to delete that one and then I'll click on the second view and find the height constraint and delete it. And now I don't have enough information to lay out the boxes, so they, they kind of just disappear, right? And then auto layout's giving me a warning here. So what I want to do now is I want to set a, a distance between these two things here so that, um, so that they always keep the same distance here, okay? So I'm going to adjust the height there, and what I'll do is I'll control drag to the button and set the vertical spacing. And then I'll do it again for the light gray view and choose vertical spacing again. And now auto layout is happy and it says, okay, well now I've got enough information. You know, if you remember, um, this box has a, a, a spacing at the top, a spacing on the left, a spacing at the bottom, and then a spacing on the right side and We've told auto layout that the width of the dark gray box should be the same as the width of the light gray box. So these are going to be equal. Okay. And so, you know, that's pretty good information like that, you know, that pretty much describes like the area where this box can be. And you can see that now it fills the entire screen there. And when I rotate, you know, it's got the same arrangement with the same spacing. Hey, that was pretty convenient, huh? Okay. So, um, so anyway, yeah, auto layout's pretty good, and the equal widths and the spacing can pretty much lay out a lot of things. Um, and I've combined it here with two and three objects. Um, really, like the relationship here is just two objects horizontally, and here it's just really between two objects there. But we could have added a third object and, and worked it out also, okay? So anyway, so there's another little, you know, um, little extra example there to follow up on the last video example. Um, I try to keep these short. Hopefully they're, they're more useful that way.